I am going to make a chicken biscuit for a doll using recycled fast food wrappers, aluminum foil, baking soda, cornstarch, water, chalk pastels, paper, a clear glue like Mod Podge, a microwave safe bowl, and glue. I start by adding one tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of baking soda, and one tablespoon of water to a microwave safe bowl. Stir until completely mixed. Microwave for 15 to 20 seconds, then stir until cooled. If the dough is a little too crumbly, then I dip my hands in water and continue kneading until it is the consistency of Play-Doh. Then pull off a small amount, roll it into a ball, make a few more the same size, and store the excess dough in an airtight bag until needed. Then take one and push down to flatten the top and bottom. Crumble a piece of aluminum foil, take the flattened circle, and scrape and push the foil around the edges gently on top to make a biscuit. Then repeat to make more. Take another ball of dough and heavily texture it with the foil, removing small amounts here and there to make fillets of fried chicken. Then make two biscuits half as thick to look like one that has been cut. Then allow them to dry for a few minutes until the top becomes firm and underneath the dough is still soft. Then place the chicken fillet on top into the softened dough. Place the other piece of the biscuit on top and gently push it down, taking care not to crack the dough. And at this state, the dough is dried just enough so the pieces do not stick together. Use the remaining dough to make longer fillets for chicken strips. Roll the dough into an oval, squish it slightly, and texture it to make a chicken nugget. Allow them to air dry, and drying times may vary depending on their thickness. Or bake it in the oven at 175 until dried. Once out of the oven, allow it to cool. Use a butter knife to shave chalk pastels into a fine powder. And I'm going to use a mustard yellow, a bright yellow, a brown, and a cream. Using a paintbrush, I begin to lightly dust the biscuits with the cream around the edges and on top. Mix a little cream and brown and lightly dust the top for the biscuits. For the chicken, I start with this golden yellow and heavily apply it all over, making sure to get down into all the nooks and crannies. But I'm careful not to break off the texture. Take a little brown and lightly dust it, then a tiny touch of a bright yellow to make the chicken. Seal them with a layer of Mod Podge, reassemble the chicken biscuit, Take an empty fast food bag, cut it down the side to cut out a rectangle. Make creases around the logo, make folds for the sides, the back, then trim off the excess, leaving a little left over. Then flip it over, fold up the bottom, make small cuts on the corner creases, then fold over the extra tab and glue it to the side. Then fold in the bottom tabs and glue them in place. Fold in the sides, pinching the top closed, and cut a small zigzag along the top edge to make the bag. Cut small squares from the wrapper to wrap the biscuit. I can also cut two squares from the wrapper, crumble one of the squares into the shape of a biscuit, place it in the middle of the other wrapper, fold the wrapper around it to make the illusion of a sandwich. Roll paper around a paintbrush, use glue to secure the end to make a cone. Cut out a section to make a drink like we did in our previous fast food video. Only this time we cut a piece of the label from a straw wrapper and glued it to the cup. And you're done. Happy crafting!
spend a lot of time looking at teeny tiny miniature stuff. I mean, come on, this chicken nugget is pretty small. But the Ot Light is a fantastic tool to help crafters get a closer look. Whoa, look at my hair. <laughs> this is so cool. Why? I can understand you. I am just going to help you. We want to give a shout out to Pretty Kitty AG115. What's up? Here you go. Enjoy. No need to thank me. I'm just a generous kind of girl. Chicken? You give us chicken? What do I look like? A cocker spaniel? We're hamsters. And we want what every hamster wants. Sorry. Here. No. The red gumball. Dun dun dun! Will you cut? 